Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Oak and Lamb. You saw me yesterday, so please don't get tired of seeing me. I hope you won't get tired of seeing me. I don't think they'll get tired oh, of you. Oh my God, that's sweet. How are you guys doing today? It's cold. I tried to film a video for you all today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it involves spray paint and it was about 35 degrees outside oh, when I tried to spray everyone. paint Welcome. and it didn't go very well. But that's okay because we pivoted and made another really, really fun and adorable video for you that you're going to see very, very soon. It is an organic video because you know right now the only Oak and Lamb team member with an organic video is Fallon. Yes. And I don't think I can top her so I'm not even going to try. But it's going to be a really cute video. I hope you all are doing well. Your comments are way over here on my laptop, so I do apologize if I'm looking over. Um, we're going to make a really, really fun craft today. We're going to do a little bit of cricketing and a little bit of gift basket arranging, which if you guys know anything about arranging gift baskets, there's a lot of trial and error involved. And I did not try and do any of this beforehand, so it's going to be a little bit um, of a longer process to do that. I'm going to try and give you some tips and tricks. Becca is also very good at decorating little baskets and just making sure things look good and all that good stuff. So hopefully between the two of us, we'll give you some really good tips and tricks on how to fill this beautiful basket. Now this is going to be a Christmas gift idea and we're going to try and stay under $20. The one thing that is the big, big ticket item that expensive is this apron this is from walmart becca eight bucks did yeah, you say like 787 or something a great price um also i was really disappointed at my local dollar tree they do not have a big selection i don't know if i just hit it at the wrong day before they filled their stock again or what but i could not find a ton of things that i was looking for i wanted a mixing bowl they did not have any so i had to pivot and get this um, kind of organizer tub here, which is still cute. He's fine. And then it's going to be like a little cookie baking basket. And we're going to have some kitchen utensils. We have this really pretty um, oven mitt. And again, some things really shock me from the dollar store because this is pretty cute. It is cute. Holidays. I like the glitter on it. Yeah, Pretty cute. Oh, we have some filler here. Um, of course, this was in the party section. You can put this in gift baskets or whatever. I got some silver and some white, so kind of mix that together. Uh, I have some tool here, and I thought about maybe making a little bow to go around it. Not too sure yet. Again, for just a dollar, it's okay if you don't use everything that you purchase for a gift basket like this. It's better to have it and not use it than to need it and not have it for just a dollar. So uh, go through there, get inspired. I got a whisk a spatula and a little spoon, a little silicone spoon, and some measuring cups. It also is helpful if you guys want to make a specific basket, like for cakes or anything like that, to read the back of the ingredient directions or like the how to make it directions. Because here, all it takes is butter and some water. So of course I didn't want to add butter to this, so I could add some um, measuring cups to it. So do look at that and see what you could buy them to be helpful. Uh, try and make them close to the colors you're going for. We have black, red, silver, and of course our apron is black too. And we're going to add a cut file to it. And Becca made the cut file. It is so cute. <laughs> One of my favorite Christmas movies ever is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I think it is an, a complete classic let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is. That's definitely one of mine. Now, there's a bunch. I love the Christmas or the Santa Claus. I love Elf. Um, I love National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. There's a big list of Christmas movies I love. I even love the really, really cheesy ones that Netflix comes out with. I'll sit down and vibe with those. Are you a Hallmark um, Christmas movie fan? Unfortunately. And yeah. I, say, I say unfortunately because... Because they're all know. basically the same. Because they're all the yeah. exact same. And there's also, if you guys ever watch TikTok, there's TikToks making fun of them. And I think they are just hysterical. Like small town girl comes to this, you know, and her and her boyfriend are having a fight. And she meets this, you know, just the most hilarious spinoffs of making fun of the Hallmark movies. And I'm fine with it. Because on a, on a day when I just want a good sappy movie, I'm totally good with the Hallmark Christmas movie. I'm cool with it. Trisha says Elf and the X uh, Christmas Vacation. Elf is one of my favorites Elf too. Elf is 
Yeah. Will Ferrell is so good at The Christmas movie. Vacation, like, I even got the little reindeer glass cup and drink eggnog from it when I watch the movie. It's so like, I, it's just, maybe that will get me in the Christmas spirit. Maybe I'm going to try that. I need to get some eggnog. Yeah. Maybe some will. SoCo and eggnog. Yeah. I love it. The, yeah. <laughs> Christmas Vacation is just so funny. Um, Cousin Eddie is by far my favorite in it. And Becca asked me today what I might want on here. And I was like, well, I don't know. You know, whatever's, whatever could be easy for you to make something cute for this. And she said, what's your favorite quote Quote from Christmas Vacation? And it's like we both kind of looked at each other. We were like, you serious, Clark? <laughs> so that's what she made with the hat and everything. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. It's so cute. So we're going to put you serious, Clark on this apron and I can't wait. It's gonna be so cute. Um, let me see, yes, Hallmark movies and yes to Netflix and yes to Prime movies. Becky, I, I'm a sucker for them. Honestly. What's this Prancer movie everyone keeps talking about? Prancer? Prancer. Look it up, Becca. I am, hold on. Let me, I, I need to know what it is. I'm all about a Christmas movie. All about it, all about it. Also, everyone keeps talking about The Christmas Story which I know is like an old classic Christmas movie. I've never I've seen I've never it. seen this movie. Prancer? Yeah, I Prancer? mean, you wouldn't have. It was way before your time, but. What's it on? I don't even know. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. Yeah. I, I'll watch any Christmas movie. I've got, I have a whole, Becca's going to die. I have a list on my phone on the notes app of all the Christmas movies I want to watch. I love that. I love because that. I never want to forget any. And not only have I done that, Becca, you're going to be so proud of me. I went through this past weekend on, now I have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Paramount, uh, all of those. I have them all and we don't have cable and I'm living my best life with that. I went through all of them and put in parentheses next to the movie on which platform I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to search for it. I know right which one it's on. God, I'm a nerd. But I love being organized like that. So whenever I'm in a Christmas movie spirit, I don't have to search for 20 minutes. I just look at my phone. I'm like, oh, Elf, that's on Hulu or whatever. And it makes my heart happy to do that. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that. Look at you guys. Prancer. I guess we need to watch Prancer. <clears throat> now, Becca likes, is it Jingle Jangle? Jingle? The kid, yeah, the kids like it. It's yes. a new one on Netflix. Netflix. I think. Yes, the kids like it. I think like it came it. out last year, and Becca said her kiddos wore it out. They did, yeah. But I love talking about Christmas, so continue. Let us know. Becca's going to stop me and help um, moderate and ask me any questions that I've missed. Our basket of goodies. This is how it looks, guys. We're done. Um, that's, <laughs> that's it. We're going to be decorating this later, and then we're going to do a little bit of cricketing. So we have... Our apron, which I'll go ahead and kind of cut the little things off of while we still talk. I have our Cricut Explorer 3 today that we're using. I have not even used the Cricut Maker 3. And you guys know me. If I don't have to, I don't. So I'm, I'm using the Explorer 3 today. I'm going to take all these off. Okay, also, unpopular opinion. I guess it's not unpopular. Whenever you have things like this that those little ties are tied on. I rip them. I rip them. Rip Sure do. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you all rip them or snip them off neatly as to not create any holes and ruin your stuff. Rip them right off. Just rip them right off. Okay. I my, have regretted it a couple of times. My problem with ripping them is not only that I feel like I'm going to make holes in my stuff, but also that when I rip it, these little go clear ahead. things yeah. go everywhere. Yeah. And then my anxiety is like, where are they? Then I'm like, my dog is going to eat them. Is it going to hurt him? No. Is he going to eat them? No, but you know. So I have to know, do you guys rip it or cut it? I always cut mine. <laughs> I can't help it. If I see James start to rip one off, ooh, I get so mad. I get so mad. Let me know. Okay, we also have white HTV here with a light grip mat. I have been putting um, anything I've been cutting on this light grip mat upside down. So this is technically the front of the mat, and this is technically the bottom of the mat. Or front, you know what I mean, top and bottom. But it's very, very loved and well used up here. So I've started putting things on it um, upside down or the other direction. And this is shiny side down, white HTV, and we have a large Easy Press mat and our baby Easy Press. Becca, we need to name all of our Easy Presses. We had they oh, all we haven't done this yet. You're right. And we need to we need to name them all. You know I love stuff to have a name, guys. Now, my comments, for some reason, aren't updating. 
I don't think they're updating. Um, we have friends commenting. I hope so. Um, we. Uh, uh, Yank those suckers off Julie. Yeah, she. we're on the same page. Julie and I are on the same page. Uh, some of them said, um, hey, Prancer is not that old. And I said, well, you were born in 98. And it came out in 89. So, I mean, it's not that old. No. But to you, it, yeah. There was a, apparently a revision in like the 2001 area. But was it good? I don't because, know. I didn't you know, watch either one of them. Sometimes revisions of movies are like, Wah. Yeah. So you never know about that. So that's all for supplies. That's that's it. We're just going to do a little crafting, a little basket organizing. Again, I don't even know if all this is going to fit well in, the ba in the, well in the basket. I don't know if it's all going to be cute or hideous. I have no idea. It's going to be adorable. So this is all going to be trial and error for you guys. Oh, I also got a little Christmas card that we might could like stick in there somewhere. Aww. But it was just 50 cents. So again, like the tool and things, if you don't use it, it's fine. So I'm going to bring my laptop in and then we're going to share the screen, but not yet because it's on myself and comments. So let me switch it around for a quick second. What is that camera doing? Yeah, it's doing the same thing it did yesterday. Press it again. I did. It's fine now, but it oh, was Okay. Yes. It, look, mm -hmm. it's like a mixture. I had not pushed any look buttons. Look at that. I hadn't pushed nothing. I mean, wow. So it makes me... Wonder if there's a connection somewhere that looks needs like to we're be. In the trip or something. Yeah. Is it back to me? Okay, so it's, it's down on here you. Now. Correct. Oh, now it's no, on it's me. on you right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is not. It didn't do it at all while I was recording today. So maybe something to do with the live oh, stream. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Is, well, I I don't love this. I think we're gonna have to take off our preview button, unfortunately, and oh. see if that helps. But anyway, we're gonna figure it out. It, it might yeah. help, it might help. Yes. I'm ready for Design Space if it looks ready on your end. Yes, it is ready. Let me know. Guys, I can't wait for you to see this cup file. Ah, oh my gosh, could you just, oh, I could die. Look at this, guys. She did the hat and everything. Becca hand lettered this. I don't understand it anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually wear this. I'm gonna wear it. So a uh, four hour apron today, it's all black. So we're just gonna be doing this one layer, all white. So we're gonna be simplifying this a little, little bit. Becca wanted to run out as well and go get us some uh, like black and white or white and red, excuse me, checkered black buffalo plaid HTV, which would have been absolutely adorable. So definitely get creative with this and do it however you would like. I'm gonna take this white layer and delete this white layer. And then this red layer, I'm gonna to change to white. And then this text, I'm also gonna to change to white. And now, since it's kind of hard to see, I'll share with you how you guys can change the color of the canvas if you would like to do that as well. You can go down here to blank canvas, this little button on the bottom of the layers panel, click that and go on up. And here you'll see color. You can click on color and change the color of the canvas, which is just great. So now we are going to size this. I want it to be about 10 inches wide. So let's see what the height goes to 10 inches wide. And that's perfect. So this is gonna be good. This is amazing. I've already measured our apron a little bit and we have about hmm, like 12 by 14 to work with. But again, you don't wanna make this thing massive. So we're just gonna make it around 10 inches. So 10 inches wide is what we want. And it's 10.6. 689 inches high, which is totally fine. So once you have this uh, ready, I'm gonna move my laptop and it might make the screen black. I'm so sorry, I didn't think about it, uh, but I have to connect my laptop to the Cricut and sometimes it gets a little finicky. I think the GPU only hates my computer. Oh, then I don't feel bad. Yeah. No, I'm joking, poor Becca, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna plug my computer into my Cricut and click make it. And let's see. Oh, look what it did. That's my bad. I didn't go through and fix that. Cancel, cancel. Attach. That will be better. Goodness gracious, guys. It's like I'm a newbie here. It's like you've never crafted it's before. It's like I've never crafted. I'm going to choose on the mat. It fits on a mat perfectly. Ooh, that's cutting it a little close to my vinyl. Ooh, I'm going to have to size it down a little bit because I'm not wasting this vinyl. <laughs> not happening okay <laughs> take three take three guys it's okay take three. they've all been here listen and i'm we, we don't waste vinyl around here uh -uh. we don't do it <laughs> it's gonna connect via usb to our explore three 
I'm going to select, let me go to browse all materials, iron on, this is everyday iron on. I'm going to go ahead and star this and favorite it since I haven't already and you can do that by just clicking this little um, star that will show up on the sides of your materials and click done. Uh, and I've been having to give this sucker more pressure. Becca, have you used this recently, like today, yesterday? Uh, oh, yes. I cut regular printable heat transfer vinyl yesterday. Well, I cut regular vinyl, too. Did it cut great? Yeah, it was fine. Okay, I'll leave it on default pressure then. Um, okay, so let me move some of this stuff out of the way a little bit. Actually, Becca, just go to me because I forgot I already have this on here, which is easy peasy. So I already have it on here. It is already shiny side down. I didn't mirror either. I am a newbie. <laughs> so I mirrored it because you have to mirror it, which is why it goes shiny side down. Because if it didn't, uh, if you didn't mirror it, it would be backwards because the HTV, which is one of our favorite things about HTV, has a built in transfer sheet. And in order for it to cut properly, it needs to go transfer sheet side down, which means you need to cut whatever it is you're cutting mirrored which kind of sounds crazy but you'll get in the habit of it it'll be like riding a bike unless you haven't done it for a while like me so we've got that set default pressure i'm going to load it into our little cricket here we've got to get some new mats and here's the problem we have new mats but they're so new and so sticky and we have 24 inch mats but we don't and have, we have like, 24 inch yeah, mats. yeah we've got to yeah you're right we need to grab some oh no Oh no, that's not gonna work. What happened, right? <laughs> this mat is not sticky. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna. Let me bray her again. Just grab one of those. <sighs> that strong grip that I, that's right on the top. On you the... think that'll work? Yeah, I think it'll be fine because I've used it a couple times. Like I put leather on it and then cleaned it, so Let it's not as sticky. Let me roll it one sticky. more time and okay. see. I think it might work this time. Although I have to tell you, braying does help a lot. Yes, it if does. you have paper that you want to stick down, I made a project a little while ago that had mostly paper in it, light paper. So I didn't want to use a really strong mat for that. Uh, but I was afraid of paper not sticking properly. So all I did was bray it and it totally worked. The, the mat needs to be cleaned bad, but it still works really well when you braid it. Is braid, is that the tense that we're, this is a brayer, so you braid it? Yeah, I, I mean, I feel comfortable saying I, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what she did. Julie says that she has mats delivered to her house. They were delivered to her home. So we have mats. Woohoo! That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Julie, maybe you can drop them off with some with some soup or something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> She's not kidding. And I'm not. I'm, maybe. It doesn't matter. We're sick of the taco truck. Julie <laughs> has like the biggest servant's heart. And I feel like I'm going to take advantage of that. And I really shouldn't. But she's so sweet. And she cooks so well. Maybe if she didn't cook so well, I wouldn't ask it's her, her fault. Her cooking. It Burn is, everything you bring it us. It is her, her fault. Some it's of those brownies fault. in those fun pans would be good too. Just saying. <laughs> she's like rotting down ingredients right now. <laughs> I love Julie. She's the best. I love it. How do we how do we clean our mats, Rach, so that they are so that they stay sticky? Our favorite way, mm -hmm. and honestly, in the studio we're in now, this is probably the only way we would clean them with baby wipes, non scented. So just unscented baby wipes. Those so just cheap ones from Walmart or wherever. They're amazing. Just go in there, little circular motions. You might use a couple, that's fine. And they clean it so, especially fabric grip mats. Oh, it's so, so satisfying good. to watch it clean. The other day the when I did the mat. live on that, um, the leather earrings and it left all the little, yes. oh, it was oh, so good. It's relaxing. It's so good, yeah. It is. Uh, but that's how we do it. We can get a couple extra weeks out of them usually. Um, and it, they're, they're very, very easy to clean as well. There are other ways you can clean it, but they're a little bit more intensive. And honestly, the baby wipes do do a great job. They do. It's said 100% done for like the past five minutes. What's Becca doing? I want to move that light because it's driving me crazy, okay. but I don't know if I can you do it without it, getting in front of the camera. <laughs> you move it, Becca. She, Becca's got on a green sweatshirt. I she, look homeless. She looks so, no, I was going to say festive. Homeless. She looks festive today. I also have a hat on. I was like, I'm going to film blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, I, no, I shouldn't I, do I that. I can't. I can't do You're that. You should not do that. 
Okay, we're done cutting. It cut perfectly. We can go to the overhead. I'm going to unplug the Cricut from my laptop because we don't need that anymore. And before we get to weeding, I'm also going to preheat my Easy Press to the second heat setting, which we did a video, oh, it was a long time ago, um, on comparing this one to like another brand. Um, and Becca, do you not agree that the, the temperature settings on this was whacked out? Yeah, it's insane. It was so, like we always thought it was 300, 350, 400, right? right? That's what you would think. No, not even close. Not even close. It was like 184 and then like 270. I don't know. It was so weird. But anyways, I'm going to take this. It doesn't look like we have any any excess, maybe a little on the side. So I'll get our true control knife here. And I'm going to put my finger on the widest part of this because when I lay it down, I can't really see it well. So now I'm just going to cut off this excess here. Peel this up. And I, I think we can trash this. So Laura I says, I tried baby wipes. Some part got sticky again and some parts did not. So Laura, the baby wipes won't make it sticky again if the adhesive has already been used up and is Good no longer point. there. It just will remove like uh, dust or particles from um, your materials that you've used like, like felt or leather or something like that. Um, so that then the stickiness can be... Um, used utilized again if it's still Revived. there so yeah it's not going to add sticky it will just help, help clean sticky that is there yes because a lot of times when we're working with papers or vinyls or maybe we don't um put the covers back on them well all the time all that really happens is that you just get a little light coating of dust and debris on it which is just taking a little bit of that stickiness off your mat that you can get back by cleaning it. But Becca has a very, very valid point. It's, it's not, it's not a miracle worker. Like if you need a new mat, you need a new mat. You know, it'll just, it'll help it along a little bit. This is the cutest cut file in the history of the world. And friends, if you're wondering how you can get these cut files, um, we since we do not currently have our membership available um we are if you are just now coming on we are launching our first mini course on friday during our black friday event and with that if you purchase the course which is only 49 dollars um, then you get six months of free access to our oak and lamb flock which is our private group i've already created it on facebook and can't wait until friday comes along and we can admit people who have purchased the course um, anyway i will be anytime that we use a cut file on the live during these six months when we don't have our um, uh, membership up I will be sharing the cut file PNG and SVG if there is both in that group so that you guys can uh, download them that day you can save them from the group and use them that way so how flippin amazing yes. is that yes oh that's so awesome <clears throat> I, and also that's one reason you want to come to Black Friday is to make sure that you grab that mini course but we also are going to have some amazing prizes some so some great giveaways and some crafty stuff we're going to be able to share with you as well as just some hilarious entertainment based <laughs> amazingness honestly it's going to be great so I have our uh, apron here and I've kind of smoothed it out and evened it out a little bit and I'm going to go in and just kind of preheat this and also get some of these um, big uh, creases out why is the name of these escaping wrinkles? me? Wrinkles? I, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, there we go. Wrinkles. They're wrinkles. And I could have cranked it up to 400, but then I'd have to let it cool down for the iron on. And you know, we ain't got that much time. Debbie says, wish you didn't make us wait until Black Friday. Debbie, I'm 100% on board with you. Um, I, okay, here's the thing too. It, we always spill the beans. Okay? Right. If we had it to give you early, I think we would. <laughs> I yeah, I think absolutely. We the truth is that I got the the first mock up this morning for the landing page to purchase the course and had to make a ton of edits because I wanted to be 
really cute and sent it back. So um, literally we're, we're down to the wire here. It will be available. I promise it will be available on Friday in, in some form. Um, will there be a limit on how many people can buy or join the course at one time? No, there is not a limit. So Which great is question. Amazing. Great question. Open to everyone. Becca, how's this looking on your end? Is really cute. Evening? It's very it cute. Uh, it might need to go, like the bottom of it might need to go to the right a tiny, no, I, I don't know. It's hard with hand lettered things. Like when I was creating, I kept thinking, is this crooked? I don't know. This looks good to me. Also, as soon as you pulled it up into design space, I was like, oh gosh, did I spell serious wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I that didn't. would be something I, I would do. Yeah, I that's didn't, why but I was freaking out. I, I never want to create cut files because that's totally what I would do. <laughs> I think it looks good to me. I think it looks when good I pull too. it up. And it's okay. You know, like also some things that kind of make your eyes think it's off is the actual transfer yeah, tape. Yeah. So like there's way less here and then way more here. And then right here it kind of goes at an angle. But this Clark is good and straight. So I'm going to go with it. I, I think it looks great. Good. So I'm going to start in the middle. This is my first iron-on project that I've made here. It is. No, no, I sublimated. That, I guess I used an iron, so that counts. I don't. But I actually not used iron-on. This is the first. I don't think I've used iron-on. I've used printable heat transfer, mm -hmm. but not mm -hmm. regular HTV. Uh, uh I don't think so. And you guys know we're still using one four three. Like we, you know, I say iron-on, but you guys know what we're using. We ain't using Cricut. No, no, no. Not oh, our favorite. I see my bubbles. I see my bubbles. This is the cutest apron ever. I this is just going to be a gift basket for myself. I'm, I'm taking those it. sugar cookies home. Okay. One of them. Are They're there just two? a dollar, yeah. yeah. I got two. Why'd I get two? I don't know. But, well, so I could take one home. Beckett's always like, here lately, can I cook, Mom? Can I cook? I'm like, what? He doesn't normally show any interest in anything like that. So what do you do? I let him cook. Yeah. yeah. What does he do? Uh, he is actually really great at measuring things out. You would think for a hyper kid who's eight and has absolutely terrible, um, um, why can the why is the word not coming to me? Fine motor skills. Yeah. That that sort of thing would be frustrating to him, but it's I think it's actually helping him. That's great. Like he made banana pudding when we were camping one day and I made him cut up eight bananas, which is great for fine motor skills. Um, so I, he's loving it. I have no idea. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's amazing. We got the apron from Walmart, Jenny, yeah. for like under $8. Yeah. And it's it was, really nice. I really like it. How many colors were there, Becca? They're probably not a lot. Not a lot of colors, no. Yeah, I would say, is, I think it was this and white, honestly. Yeah, I would have picked black too. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit, you know, just keep burning myself because I'm impatient. Yes, we will definitely add the supplies for you all. Yes, I do. I, I do apologize. There's a lot to do and not enough people to do it right now. So we're, <laughs> or maybe I just forgot, you know, whichever one sounds better to you guys. They're asking uh, if anyone else wishes there was a cordless mini easy press. And I think that would be amazing. That would be. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. It, from like a logistical standpoint, there's really not like cordless curling irons and things like that because things that produce heat like this no, take they, so much they energy. They do have cordless ones now. Do they? They do. Because what you could do is it similar. It would be expensive as crap. Yeah, but I oh, it would, absolutely. One. You could do it similar to like the Lynn Lilly hot glue gun so that it was corded and then like you pull it out when you wanted to use it. That could be neat. Oh, Beck, I like that plan. Yeah. Like that it has time, like charge time or yes, something like yes. that. Yes, mm yes. -hmm. This came out just fantastic. How am I supposed to fold this? You're not going to fold Maybe, it. Maybe, oh, what? Oh, did you have to put it in the basket? I have to cram it in the basket? Uh, no. Maybe I fold it like this is hidden, and then it's a surprise when you open it. Because there's no way I can I can fold it to... To show off the amazingness that is you serious, Clark. No, you wouldn't see all of it. You could like roll it and see part of it, but you won't okay. see all of it. Yeah, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'm going to move this since we don't need it no more. I also turned our little easy press off. I'm trying to do better about turning things off right when I'm done with them, you know. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to fold it in half. How are you guys doing? in the comment section. 
They're a little quiet. We don't have a ton of people. Part of the reason was because Maker's Gonna Learn is also live, so some of our friends are there. Um, yes. But that's gonna happen occasionally. Yes. Thank you all for being here. Um, you're doing good, Rach. You know, Becca. <laughs> are you like a professional? That was the. Hey, that hey, was hey, the... wait, wait, wait! I have to tell on you. What? Oh no! No, it's a good thing. It's fun. Oh, okay. Did you all know that Rachel was oh, no. in? Oh. You know no. where I'm going? Oh no! She was in a oh, God, grocery because no. she. <laughs> Because she worked at Food City before. Which is like a local grocery, grocery store. store. It's only in Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. She was in a competition Stop. for bagging groceries. Literally nothing is sacred. No. Nothing is sacred. <laughs> nothing. And she, you won here locally, right? I, Remind I me. I won three. You won locally. Yeah. I won three of them. Okay. And... I always joke and say that the Lord helped me lose because the next one was Atlanta, Georgia, and the next one was Las Vegas. And I just, little unmedicated for anxiety, Rachel, could not handle it. I was already conned by the, the store owner to do it in the first place. Um, it was my very first job. That's where I met James back in 2015. And, oh, my God, just vomit inducing stress me trying to bag those groceries and there were rules like guys literally I would start my shift and they'd be like Rachel uh, go to register nine it's closed and you don't have any chores on this shift just go and practice bagging like that <laughs> it was the most hilarious they would send a cashier over with me with a stopwatch that would time me and you had to do things just so so like you couldn't cram everything in bags like there were rules, like with your cans and this and that, and the weight had to be distrib distributed evenly. Honestly, it's ridiculous. But she claims she accidentally dropped a roll of paper towels, and that's I why did. she got disqualified from moving forward. However, I think it was intentional. It probably was intentional. <laughs> it was my time that got me. The time it took me to go around and pick up the paper towels, I didn't get the highest time, although I did get the best weight. But there were so many categories that they... Um, that they like added up at the end, like weight distribution and how long it took you and you know, y yada yada. So I did beat them out in certain categories, but not overall because of those paper towels. I honestly, I told mom, I, my loser scale is like off the charts. It's ridiculous. I'm such a loser. It's no, no that is not true. They're like, what have I done in my life? Lost a bagging competition at a local grocery store. Number one. No, Number two, no, you won was that a, one. Was a lowly homeschooler and then went to a private <laughs> Christian school. Oh my gosh, just, just hilarious. What a life I've led. Rachel, <laughs> your life experiences made you who you are. And I would they not, sure did. I would not change that. They sure did make me who I was. A big goober. But Rachel, I love do you have goober. PTSD when you're in a grocery store and they call baggers to the register? Because she totally does. Amanda was also a bagger. Amanda, I didn't go into the grocery store I worked at for two years. Two years I did not go in that grocery store. Um, and then I went in the other day. I thought, and I've been a couple times, but I went in the other day and one of my most favorite managers who worked there was like, oh my gosh, Rachel, how are you doing? And I got to tell her the absolutely incredible news that I owned my own company with like the most amazing people in the world. And I came back and I said, Becca, she's the first person I got to tell that I, I own my own company. It was such, it was such, I went in the car and I was like, don't cry. Don't cry. Oh. This is a good day. It was, <laughs> it was just surreal and amazing erica asks what was the prize if you won the bagging competition oh my god it was a lot of money was it yeah like i uh when i won the one locally here in town you I, they sat you down and the, the board of food city came and like you got a cake and stuff and then you just kept going and going and then when you got to vegas uh, i think anyone who even made it to vegas got like 10 grand and then the winner, I mean, it was an astronomical amount of money for, like, just a hilarious bagging competition. I um, love this. Yeah. My mom, my mom called it, um, what was it? 
like America's Next Top Bagger or something. She made fun of the name of it, which is just the best. I don't, it's just hilarious. But I worked there for almost two years and then um, started working for Tanner. And those are the only two jobs I've had besides this amazing one right here. So I am blessed, that is for sure. I'm putting this in the back here just because it's big and bulky. Yes, that's cute. And then I think I'm going to layer this like next to it, mm -hmm. like this. Can they see everything? Yes. Okay. I've put the bottom with our little filler, our white and our silver filler here. And now I think I'm going to do these, but I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the um, little things off of them. Because I don't like them. They're ugly. I'm going to snip these off. Like, we, we can redo this, too. Like, no stress. I don't want you guys to think this is a stressful situation. We're just going through here, seeing how we like things. I'm going to lay these right here. Let's see how this looks. That's looking pretty cute. I'm going to snip this off. Maybe put this right here, like right in the front. And then I have a card that I could like slip somewhere. I could even put it like inside here. Like that's kind of cute. That's pretty cute. How are you people feeling? How are you feeling about this? This is pretty cute. You kind of can't see this. That's okay. This is looking pretty cute. I'm going to throw these away. Throw these away. And I might make a bow for this. You guys oh, probably won't you be should. able to see it though. I think you should. But I'm, I'll try and make one. I don't have a hot glue gun heated up or anything, though. Also, do I know how to make a bow with this? No. Is it just tool? It's just tool. All right. You'll be fine. Just what? tie it like you're tying your shoes. Well, wait, 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 wait. It's going to be think... good. Wait, wait, wait. You guys can't even see. There's no way. No, it's completely can... see-through. Can you see it? Well, I would just do, like, several layers. But they can see it. The, the light is not blown out, so that helps. Nobody, nobody rush me. Nobody. No rush one's rushing me. you. They're super excited to Who's see. Who's rushing me? I believe they're chanting, "Make a bow." Oh my god. Make a bow. <laughs> Becca, make a bow. Make a bow. This in my head, that's what they're doing. The worst bow in the world. And then I'm like, did I lose how to make a bow? Because no, I. No, you can do this. Right? Who is this for? Myself. Yeah. I'm joking. No, I don't know who this is for. I don't know. That's a good question. Rachel, have you made those sugar cookies before? Yes. They're oh, actually really good. I mean, I'm going to find out, but I'm just really curious. Betty Crocker's amazing, so. Yeah. It, here's the thing, Becca. It's just because it was at the dollar store, like, that's it's totally fine. Like, it's a good batch of cookies. It's just smaller. Like, it makes oh, 12 cookies, which the normal of... ones make at least 24. Okay. So, it's not that it's like a weird brand that's at the Dollar Tree. They've just made a smaller, wow, this bow is really <laughs> it looks like a bow. I mean, wow. It looks like a bow. This is this is what you guys get when I'm not prepared for things. Erica's chanting, bag the groceries. Bag the you know, groceries. I'm just thankful I never have to do that again. Rachel, you know what I think you would be the best at? Oh, God, what? I hope this is not aging me. Well, it came back out, so maybe not. Supermarket Sweep. I think you would be the best contestant at Supermarket Sweep in the world. Do you, Becca? I do, because, guys, she went to Walmart this afternoon, and I, I'm <laughs> not sure. I'm not sure she oh was my gone God. 10 minutes. I was like, I got whiplash. And I had to go. Here's the thing. I had to go to two different, like, all over. It wasn't like I could hit one spot in the store and be done. I had to go to one side of the store and then completely to the other side of the store because somebody <clears throat> becca asked for toilet paper it, yeah go we, but we needed it desperately now i'm just gonna like cut a big section of this you get a lot of this for a dollar is all i'm gonna that say that is a lot and since i don't have my hot glue i could make this cuter but i'm gonna move this like this and like put this around the back and and tie it or maybe i should make this the front I need hot glue. I need hot glue. And also, this needs to be the front. Look, we're going to get it. We're turn gonna Lynn that. on back there. Turn what? Lynn, turn Lynn on. I could turn Lynn on. Okay, I'm going to knot this. This is turning out cute. Little dots of glue, and we could be rocking and rolling up in her. 
This will be good. This will be good. I bet I can leave. I bet I can make this stay. At least for right now. Because I would love to say, like, no glue needed or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it that easy. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. I'll, I, you know, glue, glue might be necessary back there. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, now to attach my bow. Now to attach my bow. How am I going to do this cute? How? Ooh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I'm going to snip this off. Not like you guys can see. I'm sorry, but I can't. I also cannot dump my basket to the side. Right. Because then no one could see anything. I'm going to tuck my tails underneath this. This is actually pretty cute. The bow needs a little work. I'm not a bow gal. Becca can do bows good. Becca's, Becca's used to decorating like her whole church for Christmas and stuff. That type of deal. That's pretty cute. Okay, now I'm just going to snip these off because they're just a little long still. And that's okay. I'm stinking cute. What? <laughs> Michelle, will you ladies sublimate on toilet paper rolls? What? 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 I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing either. Okay, I'm, I'm we'll going to try anything. Very carefully do this. <laughs> Here's what we're working with. Uh, that's cute. I that's think adorable. It's cute. That's adorable. So I'm just gonna. I had to show you guys at least once. Now I'm gonna flip it back. I'm gonna say, way. turn it around. Let's turn it around. That's cute. It's really stinking cute. I think it's so cute. So how much? How, okay, let's count it up. The the apron was eight bucks. Then we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifty, fifty plus tax. Tax under twenty bucks. Under twenty bucks. This. Oh, oh no no no. Then the uh, filler. You could get away with one bag of filler. I did two to mix some colors. That's another dollar. 18, 17, 50. Yeah. And you don't have to add a card. You could cricket a card and add it in here. You know, that was just like a little extra thing. But this is super cute. This would be good for anybody this holiday season that you know loves to cook or bake or anything like that. You could also add some HGV to the pot holder if you wanted to. Whatever. You could put a box of cake mix instead of cookie mix in here, but I think this is pretty cute. I think it's adorable. Pretty cute. I think, is it better over here? It doesn't matter. It's just, yeah. How are you guys doing, Becky? Thank you. I'm not the biggest um, bow maker, but I think she's pretty cute. Uh, again, a dollar of tool. I still have more left. Like, there's a lot of tool. That was a good purchase. They had gold, red, and silver, and I think white. So if you want, what is it? Elisa, what are you laughing about? Elisa, she's a beaut, right? <laughs> she's a beaut, right? Thank you. Thank you, Aaliyah. I think she's a beaut, too. This is adorable. Yeah, I did see what you did there. That's why I said it in that voice. <laughs> good job. Good job. Um, Erica said, do you find paper bows or fabric slash urban bows are easier to make? I think, personally, wired ribbon. Is, is easier for me to bake bows that need to have some oomph to them. Um, Becca, what's your thoughts? No, I mean, if you're making bows like that, yeah, 100% agree. I love making bows, like the 3D bows that you cut out of with like the faux oh, yes. leather and the felt yes. and all that fun stuff. I'll need to make you all a cut file like that. Um, I love those. But and those no, are easy. 100% agree. I prefer ribbon with wire. It's really nice. Wired ribbon is key, especially for... Things like this that need some um, zhuzh, oomph, some depth. But this was super cute. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. We did a little bit of cricketing today, a little bit of basket organizing. You could cram this thing full of stuff too. And originally, I was going to put this in a mixing bowl because I thought it would go with the theme if there was a cute mixing bowl with all this stuff in it. They were out of it. Again, like I said, I was a little disappointed in the... Um, in what they didn't have at my local Dollar Tree this time around. So, but that's okay. Listen, we pivoted. We went in there. We kind of worked it out. So, this is what we're left with. I think I think it's cute. Thank you. Never tried wire ribbon. We'll try that next. Erica, please try it. Becca, is this thing still up here? I just put it up, yep. Is it up here? Okay, guys, I see it. It's beautiful. Black Friday is coming up in just like, what, two days, three days? Soon. Soon. After you fill your bellies on Thanksgiving... After you go to Black Friday, uh, Black Friday shopping, and usually Black Friday shopping is always on Thanksgiving, I think. Usually, the sales start then. Do all your Black Friday shopping, and then save some coins 
and come here with us on Black Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern and craft with us. Maybe get in on your chance to get some amazing prizes that we have lined up. We have some really fun crafty segments. We have some sublimation. We have some paper crafting. We have some um, really cute ways to decorate um, your gifts this holiday season. I'm not going to say much more about that because I don't want to give everything away, but they're really cute, really unique uh, things that you guys might be super excited to try out and just in time for gift wrapping as well. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun on Black Friday. We're ready to be here. Aubrey says, I can't wait to give you my money and support this awesome business. That's I so sweet. love that. I can't wait to see who is able to purchase it first. I know Kat, who I'm not seeing here today, she must be busy. Uh, she is like biting, like she wants it bad. Yeah. I think she wants to be the first. I can't <laughs> wait to see who it is. Me either. That's good though. Fought, fought to be there first. Carla there says, first. be there with bells on. Yes, please um, do. Get get a cup of hot cocoa, get some coffee, snuggle snuggle in, put your put your jammies on, make sure your your dog's fed and your husband's busy and just sit down and be able to craft with us on Black Friday. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good fun day. It's our first live craft event too, so we're excited about that here at Oak and Lamb. So stay tuned. But do you guys have any questions or anything super last minute? Will there be a link provided to purchase it? Absolutely. You'll probably get sick of us sharing that link. You probably will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we're, you know, we're excited. We're so yes. excited. And again, if we had that now, we might give it to you, but yeah. okay. All good things to those who wait. So just a couple more days. And also just a quick thank you for all you guys who have been here supporting us um, these past couple weeks when we were getting up and running and through our tech issues and things like that. Just thank you for being here and for being supportive and for loving us and loving what we do because we love you and we love what we do. So we're very excited to be here for you all. And we can't wait to actually be able to touch your crafty lives in ways um, like with our mini course coming out and we're always going to be developing new and exciting things to be able to share with you all to just level up your crafting, make you more comfortable, more confident. So that's what we're here to do. Becca, anything else? I don't think so. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Go to the Dollar Tree, spend less than $20 and make one of these. Make it for your neighbor, make it for your kiddo's teacher, make it for, who doesn't love cookies? Make it for anybody. I can't wait to see what you do with it. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's live is actually at 6 p.m. So we hope that you guys will be able to be there. Um, it's going to be a super fun craft. Becca and Anna both will be here, I think, as well as myself. Yes. So we're just going to have a really fun crafty evening. So if you are not a huge fan of these daytime lives, definitely mark your calendar. Set a reminder on your phone for tomorrow, 6 p.m., and we will be here. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow.